Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. Uh, a couple things before I uh, s uh, remind you guys what we did last. Uh, I got a new mic and a headset, so if it sounds a little bit different, I'm using an actual microphone for once. Uh, it was a really good quality one too. I, I, I like it. Um, the headset is uh, just some gaming headset I got, but it's really good quality as well. Anyway, the last thing we did was we defeated the giant of Babel, technically defeated him, we basically just flipped the on switch off by defeating the security nodes, and then he self-destructed, and we ended up here on the moon, which technically we are in in-game now, but, but, I'm not ready for in-game. What I plan on doing is getting a few things, I just noticed, yeah, this controller is kind of busted, that's not good. It's okay, I can use the... There we go. It, it feels weird using the cross. I'll fix this controller afterwards. So if you see him freaking out when I go forward, it, don't just, just ignore it. It's just the controller being stupid. Anyway, let's go back to Earth. We have to get um, all the Eidolons, the, the summons. The last one we'll get is Bahamut, who is on the moon, ironically. Uh... But the first things first, I think I said I wanted to do Leviathan, which... Yeah, Leviathan would make a lot of sense to get first, because then you get Ozra at the same time. Uh, let's see, where's my ship? Where's my ship? Oh, no, it's over there. I need the ship that can go into, uh... Back into, uh, the underworld. Because you can't use, uh, this ship. You can't use the Lunar Whale to get to, uh the underworld, so we'll be using the Falcon, which is still right there, just waiting for us. Um, I didn't do any grinding because I just, I realized I should be able to at least get to uh, Leviathan and Azura with, with little to no problems because of how high a level we are, because at this current moment we should have already had Leviathan and Azura, yeah, Leviathan. Uh, Azura may, uh, be a different story, um, I'll figure that out when we get to it, uh, but right now, our quest lies all the way over there, I believe. Yeah. That little tiny island right here. This little tiny island. Okay, before we go in there, let's do a check and see what our inventory looks like. Good, good. Yeah, I think we're good. And just in case I mess up, there we go. Okay, if I remember correctly, yeah. So the only way we're going to survive this place, you can, you can walk through it, that's no problem, but you take damage uh, as you walk through. What you want to do is go into your magic, go to Rosa, and activate this funny little spell here called Float. Then you target all, and boom. I can now walk over the lava with no damage. And you start each match with float. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to be having the, the map open so I can see. What are you? You are blood eyes. Let's see how much damage we can do. Because, yeah, we, we should already be able to handle this area with, like, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, we're able to kill them really, really fast. So, I I'm not going to waste any mana. I'm only going to use mana for healing, reviving, and any, like... Anytime we need to use float again. Which float really does come in handy. Oh god. Please miss. Oh no, he, he didn't freaking miss. The one time. The one time I want him to miss with that freaking spell, he, he hits it. I don't like the instant death uh, abilities or spells. Because they become a pain in the ass. I'm gonna waste a phoenix down. And then I'll have Cecil heal. Kira. Okay, uh, we're back on track. Oh, yep. So yeah, after each mission... Oh, no, because he died yet, he didn't have to float anymore. Yeah. I, I had to think about that for a second. Forgot to add float, so he took some unnecessary damage. But now we can explore the rest of the map. As long as no one dies, I don't have to keep spamming float. What's next? 
Okay, revenge time. Revenge time. Miss. Yep. Uh, I will use Blitz. What does Gaze do? Does it paralyze? Yeah. So they know... They know Death and Gaze. And I'm pretty sure they got a normal physical attack. Go ahead. He's already paralyzed. Oh, it can also confuse. Okay. That's gonna be a challenge. But yeah, these guys, when it comes to damage, it's nothing. We could take them pretty quickly. Uh, did not count on her attacking Rydia. So this is gonna be a pain. Only, only because of the confusion, death, uh, paralysis. Actually, no, paralysis is fine. I, as long as I don't move, they don't take damage. So first things first. This is why. I'm not gonna do. Not gonna move. If I don't move, they don't take damage. And I'm gonna use float first. Then I'm gonna cast a Kiraga. We've already messed up pretty bad, but it's okay. We're strong enough to handle this place. Oh, can't carry any more H, uh, high potions. Let's see. What about you? Can we carry whatever you have? Yep. We definitely need more Phoenix down. We, ju we just keep wasting them. We've already lost... Uh, we've already had two deaths. And I can't... Uh, I can't just keep wasting them. Am I, is this all there's here? Is uh, just the, the blood eye? Oh god, they're spamming death. One of them's gonna hit. I might just start. Sp oh, never mind. I might just start spamming uh, Thundaga if I need to, because I'm pretty sure these guys are weak to thunder, and not just because they're flying creatures. I mean, we're mowing them down pretty damn fast, so I don't think I really care at that point to use any magic. It's just, it's just their 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 few abilities that are doing basically insta killing, because uh, if Rosa gets confused, her arrows can do a considerable amount of damage. Uh, same with anyone else. Uh, Riddy is the only one who can't really hurt much. She can only paralyze, and if she paralyzes one of my people, we're screwed. But if we kill these guys fast enough, we don't have to worry about that. Miss, miss, miss. Yeah. After the skull appears, they usually die. So if they don't die after that skull, you're good. And look at that. We won. Revenge. I've got eye drops. That's funny. Okay, this is clearly the only way we can go. Wait, we missed a spot. Mm. No, it looks like we got all the spots. Maybe there's a hidden area. I'll come back for it. Uh, off camera, so you don't have to worry. Unless we see it in a, in a, in a few room, rooms from now. Because the layout of these maps, I don't remember. I just remember going through them. Okay. Basement 2. Yep. Every area, I'm gonna make sure you recast... Another thing I gotta make sure I get is get all the augments that we can have. Ooh, new enemies. A Black Knight. Or a Fell Knight. Pardon me. I always like their design. They look pretty cool. Oh, and there he goes. Time to kill the imps. And their weakness is holy. What a surprise. 
And he can only do 261 physical damage to me, but what else can he use? Maybe, uh, maybe a pretty good spell or, uh, or so. Well, we'll never know now. He's dead. All I saw him do was just slap. Edge is now level 54. Uh, by the end of this week, I'm gonna have, uh... Uh, I should have them at a good amount of level, but... Once I collect all the Eidolons I need, uh... And do any side quests, like get Excalibur, get all the Augments... I didn't even know what that was. It's probably a high potion. Uh, when I get Excalibur, all the Augments and such, then we'll go take on the final dungeon. Because, um... The rooms, the, the few rooms before the final boss, every single enemy is boss level. And, and it's, uh, it, it plays the boss music as well. And I think, if I remember correctly, every single boss can insta-kill. So, you definitely want to be prepared for that. They probably can't, like, insta-kill with every attack, but, like, they do a, a crap ton of damage. And, um... Some of them do have abilities that can insta-kill. So what was this? High potion, okay. Then again... Nah. Actually, yeah. Uh, give it to... There. No, I can get that. We're surprised when they're right in front of us? Man, you guys suck at this. So I'm gonna keep track of that imp mostly. I wanna see what he does. Look at him dance though. You can't kill me, but I can kill you. So uh, at this point, I think all he does is just slap. Yep. It's sad, but that's just how it is. Rose is level 61. Nice. What level is Cecil right now? I forgot. 63. The next achievement for Cecil leveling up as a paladin is 70. So we're, we're making our way. Uh, yeah, get this spot first. A gargoyle? No, a Belphegor. Well, there goes the Belphegor. And then the last Blood Eye. He's all by himself, so he, 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 he couldn't do anything. Nice. We're doing really good. To be fair, I should have already done all this. But, I wanted to progress the story first and be able to handle it easily. Because uh, some of these enemies here, as you can see, can do stuff. Oh god, she's going to summon stuff. Kill it. Oh, I, I think those things poison. We gotta kill fast. Come on. Okay, we can handle this now. Even if it poisons. It's a one-shot. Damn. Just because they're lower than us does not mean you should take them lightly, as you have seen. It just takes one ability. There we go. Yeah, I clearly missed something in that first room. A cottage. We definitely need those. Ooh, preemptive. Let's do this. One fell knight down. The other one will die in one hit. Oh, never mind. We weren't strong enough to kill both of them instantly. But yeah, they, they don't do that much damage. Yeah, just to let you know, when we get to Leviathan and Azura, just because these areas are easy does not necessarily mean that those fights are easy. Because I remember Leviathan actually kicks, can kick your ass quickly. Uh, Azura, if I remember correctly, she has the ability to change her heads. And depending on the head, I think depends on the element that you can use against her. I'll have to relook it up just to, just to be sure. Because, uh... I do not want to go into a fight unprepared. Always be prepared. 
I was a Boy Scout for a little while. I made it all the way to... I can't even remember. I think I was trying to get Eagle Scout or something, and then just stopped. But I enjoyed the camping trips when I was young. We had a... Uh, like, all the parents would come with their kids, and we'd go, uh, go to, like, these cool camping grounds. I remember this one time, we were camping and a moose wandered onto our, uh, into our campsite. Everyone was just staring at it. We were so, uh, entertained by this moose just walking through our campsite. Moose didn't even give a shit about us. He was like, hey, look, humans. Then walked away. Didn't even run. Then, uh, I remember this. It was the same camp. Uh, it was like a few days later. I, I was, uh, playing with one of my friends, I think. I can't remember who it was. Probably just another, uh, camper, because there was a few other, uh, scout troops there. And I remember we were playing, and then I was told to come home, or come back to the tent, because uh, it was getting late. So I ran back, and I slid on a bunch of rocks and scraped both of my legs. It was funny. I was crying like a, like 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 you imagine I would, but looking back on it now, it was pretty funny. I shouldn't have run, but it was worth it. It was worth it. It was a good uh, camping trip. I miss doing stuff like that. Uh, I can go camping with with like friends and stuff anytime, but I mean like doing big stuff like that, uh, earning badges and stuff for like all, all these different things. That, that was fun. Ooh, a dragon. This is a thunder dragon. How quickly can we kill the thunder dragon? Hey ya. Ooh, he takes a few hits. Someone's gonna die. I wasn't paying attention to health. Oh, never mind. He, he, he's, he, it's a single target. So, I'm gonna heal before we do anything, because I just realized everyone's health. I'll use Cecil. Okay, we should getting we should be getting pretty close to the location. Okay, go this way. Spider mamas. Die, spider mama. miss. Ow. That isn't nice. And I was gonna take her to a fancy restaurant, but now I don't want to. Because she hit me. I don't want to play with her anymore. Okay, get all this. Okay, we're at 60% of this area. A bestiary. I don't really need that anymore. But it's good to have it, just in case you're out of mana and really need to know. Wait, I made it to where I need to go. Hold on, hold on, I didn't finish. This is where we're going, it's, it's enemy free. Okay. One of these areas leads us into those back rooms. I'm gonna have to glitch out of reality. Yes, but seeing as we only have, like, a few minutes left in this episode, uh, I'll, I'll do the... We'll walk around the Fey March uh, on the next episode, and then take on uh, Leviathan. And depending on how long it takes, we could probably take on Azra as well. I don't think... Ooh, I almost walked into that. Oh, no, we still have it. Thank you. I don't think uh, I can take both of them on at the same time. But I can definitely take on uh, Leviathan. I just have to spam Blitz from uh, from uh, Edge. I'm not falling for that game no more. I'm killing all you right now, right here, right now. Maybe maybe not from that hit. Okay, it's just it's just par uh, paralysis. Uh, 
Okay, good. You're attacking the people who already have paralysis, which really saves us. And... we win. Okay... Obtain Defender. That's a really good uh, sword for this level. Oh, you call this an ambush? I'll show you ambush. There's one. Ow. There's two. And then all that's left is the man who just slaps you. There's three. Got a tent for that. I'm missing something, so... Whenever I leave the Fey March, uh... After the, uh... Whichever episode it is, uh, I'll, I'll try to get the last, uh, bit of both this floor and the first floor. I think there's an inn in the... Yeah, yeah, there's an inn, a uh, weapon store, and the uh, item store in, uh, in the Fey March. The weapon store is only for Rydia. I actually, I think there's, like, armor that, uh, Rosa can equip, but that's it. Oh, yeah, we just got Defender. Not Kane. Cecil. Lustrous versus Defender. Defender has better attack, but it, I lose strength, spirit, and accuracy. What about... Okay. Kane is equipped with gun, ge gun gear. Its attack is 99. He'll lose stamina. Mm. Mm. We don't need holy damage for Leviathan, so I'll use uh, Defender. Welcome to the Fey March. This is where Rydia ended up whenever she was lost at sea from Leviathan. And here, we're gonna take all of this, because this is all mine now, and they can't stop me. A rat tail, which is definitely what we need. Uh, if you remember from... I think I had to do it? Yeah, in Final Fantasy 1, you need a rat tail. Because the rat tail is what you use to present to Bahamut to uh, gain your, uh, your upgrade. But on here, you use it to challenge him. Okay, which one was it? Oh yeah, that one brings us to a room full of chest. Yoichi arrows, elixir, Yoichi bow, dry ether. Wait, what is her bow right now? Nope, Yoichi bow is so much better. I think that's like the best bow she can get. I'll have to see if there's any more, but I'm, I think that is the best bow in the game. Let's go to the blue one. I want to see where the blue one takes me. It brought us out. <laughs> well, actually, that's perfect. Because now, we can warp back. I'm heading back to town right now. Care to join me? Yeah. I'm s scared of monsters, so let's hurry. Once you get to the Fey March, they teleport you here. So we don't have to worry about uh, having to go through all that over and over again. You can if you want, but it's just not necessary. Okay, we're at the... the market, uh, segment of the town. And the item store, what do y'all have? Oh no, that's the inn. I meant this one. Light curtain, decoy, Hermes sandal, boxes of wine, silver hourglass, and an ether. God, look at that price! I'd only be able to buy eight of them. By the time we get to endgame, I'll be able to afford 99 of them, which is what we're gonna need. So I'm not gonna buy any of that, but we will sleep. Alright, 
can't save. There's got to be a save point in this town somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to check all the, the houses real quick before I get off of here. There we go. But first... Beast area can't carry anymore. Phoenix down, we can carry. What you guys say? Rydia, I'm so glad you're back. You see, I need your help with a problem. Did something happen? My friends went off on a trip and never came back. They were supposed to be back today. Okay, we'll go look for them. And if we find them, we'll tell them to get back to town. You will? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Any idea where they could have gone? One wanted to go to the desert. There's supposed to be something called an oasis there, and it seems he really wanted to drink the water there. Thanks, we'll go look around. That we'll have to do on another episode, guys. Save it so I have it. Alright. So thank everyone so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be taking on Leviathan, one of the first uh, summons that we gotta fight to obtain. Uh, to make Rydia even stronger. So look forward to that. But until then, guys, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.